Good day, students! To be able to speak in English fluently and efficiently, one must be aware of the correct grammar. If we know that we are doing it correctly, we can communicate using the English language confidently. Today, let us learn the subject verb agreement. Here are some rules in subject verb agreement. Let us begin with the most basic rule. A singular subject requires a singular verb. A plural subject requires a plural verb. Singular means only one, while plural means more than one or many. For example, in this sentence, the subject is Mr. Santos. And since it is singular, we will use the verb drives. Remember, if the verb ends with S or in S form, it is singular. If it is in base form, it is plural. Mr. Santos drives carefully. Another example. In this sentence, our subject is the word gifts, which is plural. For this, we will use the linking verb are. The gifts are wonderful. Another example. In this sentence, our subject is Alexa, which is singular. The verb that we are going to use is sings. Alexa sings well. Compound subjects connected by the word and usually require a plural verb. For example, Anna and Maria are twins. The key and the lock are missing. Mom and Dad plan our vacation. These subjects connected by and are all plural. Therefore, plural verbs will be used. There will be an exception though. The verb is singular if the two subjects separated by and refer to the same person or thing. For example, in this sentence, the subject, principal and teacher, refers to only one person. So, we will use the verb reviews. The principal and teacher reviews the reports. Let's take a look at this example. The principal and the teacher are being referred to individually as two different persons. The article the is used to determine each noun. Therefore, we have a plural subject. The correct verb to be used is look. The principal and the teacher look at the bulletin board. Another example. The subject red beans and rice refers to a single dish. That's why we have a singular subject. Therefore, the verb to be used is is. Red beans and rice is my mom's favorite dish. If the sentence starts with here and there, the subject will always be placed after the verb. For example, the subject in this sentence is problem. So, the correct verb is is there is a problem with the balance sheet in this sentence the subject is papers which is plural so we will use the verb are here are the papers you requested 
In every rule, there is always an exemption. Pronouns I and you always require plural verb, even though they refer to a singular person. For example, I love you. The base form or plural form of the verb is always used for the first person pronoun I. You do not know what happened. You have everything you need. Do not get confused by the words that come between the subject and verb. They do not affect agreement. For example, in this sentence, the subject is Gabi, which is singular. The phrase, together with his cousins, does not affect the singular subject. So, we will use the verb works. Gabi, together with his cousins, works on the design. Another example. In this sentence, the subject, Sarah, is singular. Again, the phrase, who is my friend since kinder, does not affect the sentence. So, the verb to be used is shows. Sarah, who is my friend since kinder, shows me her scrapbook. Prepositional phrases between the subject and verb usually do not affect agreement. In this sentence, our subject is colors, which is a plural noun. The prepositional phrase of the rainbow will not affect the subject. The correct verb to be used is are. The colors of the rainbow are beautiful. Another example. In this sentence, the subject is dress, which is a singular noun. The prepositional phrase with diamond crystals will not affect the subject. So, the verb that we will use is is. The dress with diamond crystals is expensive. If the words some, half, none, more, and all are followed by the prepositional phrase, the object of the preposition determines the form of the verb. For example, in this sentence, the word all is followed by the prepositional phrase of the chicken. The object chicken is a singular noun. So, we will use the verb is. All of the chicken is gone. If the object of the preposition is plural, just like this one, we will use the plural verb. All of the chickens are gone. The words each, either, neither, anyone, no one, anybody, nobody, everyone, everybody, someone, and somebody are always singular and need singular verb. For example, everyone is required to check in. Someone sees you. If the words each, every, or no come before the subject, the verb is singular. For example, no man is an island. Every man and woman is required to check in. If one subject is singular and one is plural and the words are connected by or, nor, either or, neither nor, not only but also, Use the verb form of the subject that is nearest to the verb. For example, the subject that is nearest to the verb is workers, which is plural. 
therefore, we will use the verb agree. Neither the president nor the workers agree with the idea. Another example. Either the workers or your son. The word that is nearer to the verb is son, which is singular. So, we will use the verb receives. Either the workers or your son receives the inheritance. Collective nouns usually take singular verb form. Collective nouns are words that refer to groups of persons, animals, or things. They commonly refer to a single unit. For example, the herd is stampeding. The committee meets in the office building. But if the sentence has a subject like this, we will be referring to the members, which is plural. So, we will use the word meet. The members of the committee meet in the office building. The singular verb form is usually used for units of measurement. For example, four quarts of oil was required to get the car running. 500 square feet is a very small space to live in. Remember, if the subject answers the question, how much or how big, it is usually singular. But if the sentence answers the question, how many, the subject is considered plural. For example, 500 square feet have been added onto the house. How many square feet? 500. So, 500 square feet is considered plural. Therefore, we use the verb have. Money, time, and measurement can be singular and plural. If you can answer the question, how much, the subject is considered singular. For example, 500 pesos is the cost of the cake. How much is the cake? 10 hours is how much time we'll need to complete this project. If the subject answers the question, how many, it is considered plural. For example, millions of dollars were spent to renovate the library. How many dollars were spent? Millions of them. 10 hours were spent in this project. How many hours were spent? 10 hours. Fractions may take singular or plural verbs depending on the objects. For example, two-thirds of the students prepare the assignment. The fraction is two-thirds. The objects of the students is plural. That's why we use the plural verb prepare. Two-thirds of the students prepare the assignment. Another example, the fraction is two-thirds. The of race is of the project, which is singular. That's why we use the verb is. Two-thirds of the project is ready for evaluation. Titles of books, movies, novels, and shows are treated as singular and take singular verb. For example, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves is one of the most well-loved stories. The Avengers is a good movie. Always remember that the focus is on the subject of the sentence. We should analyze the sentence carefully and identify the subject. Make sure that the subject always agrees with its verb. I hope you learned something from this video. To test your understanding of the lesson, you may click the video link in the caption and answer the quiz.